Hey, Divine Leader, welcome to this episode on channeling. Create aligned content on demand without overthinking things. As spiritual leaders, teachers, practitioners, healers, coaches, we're always in the process of communicating. And as a part of having a transformational business, there are a lot of places and spaces where communication is key, whether that's creating emails to clients or marketing messaging or our programs or working with clients in sessions or books, communication is everywhere. And we're always invited to be creating content. And over the years, one of the things I've seen with our clients, with myself, with my colleagues in the transformational industry is just how frustrating and time consuming it can actually be uh, to have to write out, for example, really long scripts and then figure out how to deliver them. Uh, whether you have a YouTube channel or you're doing a masterclass. And when I was tuning into today's episode, one of the things I was thinking about, about was back in the day for me, when I used to teach massage and Reiki, I always had a very like outline outline, outline, like a very detailed plan. And the preparation before any of those events, whether it was uh, a retreat that I was leading or a class that I was teaching was very, 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 very time consuming. And often what I noticed was that I was making these plans, which was good, especially in the earlier days to, to feel even more confident. And then often I threw them out the window based on also what was really needed in the now moment. Now, if you've been hanging out with me for any amount of time, you know, I'm huge on co-creating and that co-creating means also co-creating in the now moment co-creating with clients and co-creating with source, which brings us back to channeling, which I also call scribing, divine transmitting, dropping and delivering, and this capacity to, to channel, whether it's your higher self or the energy of love or infinite wisdom, or you work with guides like I do, there it's really an invaluable resource. It's an invaluable resource. And there are so many ways that you can use it in your life, in leading the evolution in consciousness in your business. And for example, you can very much uh, go from, and you can just imagine, like, what if you could go for a walk uh, in nature and have your recorder and download the idea for a book or the first chapter of your book? Or what if you could take uh, five minutes or so, or 15 minutes at the beginning of your day and really tap into higher wisdom and have a, an idea of what your what would be the topic for your mastermind that's going to make the most different for, difference for individuals having a focus on also the best uh, directions to go in a client session and then confidently deliver that message and that content in almost real time now, as we're talking about channeling and creating con aligned content on demand without overthinking things, 
there, there's so many nuances to it. And as always, it's a best practice to really apply this to your situation because you may be a six or seven figure business owner. You may be an expert in your field. You may be a, a dialed in spiritual being who is highly committed to, to contributing to the evolution and consciousness in a way that's very unique to you and no matter who you are what what your your focus is what your uh, environment is what you're up to you communication is is a part of it and so being able to really also have that aligned content that aligned communication it's like when it comes forward, it's already well received. It's, it's in response to a higher asking and in response to a partnering that also things become very, very like spot on. And I can't tell you how many times over the years I've been so grateful and blessed to hear the words for, to the team or to uh, to me, like, how did you know that? Or that was exactly spot on because there's a, not only a way to address what's going on in a very bespoke way, yet to also go beyond the, the, the slow ways of getting to know someone or, uh, it's really, really, really a fast track. And then also there's this recognition of there is a divine order, because one thing I know about being highly creative and working with highly and innovative creators as well is that there's no shortage of ideas. <laughs> there's usually like a ton of ideas. So this is another way that I use it and that we work with our clients as well. To, to use channeling, to use scribing, to use partnering with source and guides, to also have clarity of out of the billions of possibilities to do, whether it's for showing up to grow your audience, you can show up to grow your audience on YouTube, you can have a podcast, you can write a book, you can do a Facebook challenge, you can have master classes, you could, there's all these, you could write articles, there's, you could do uh, live events, you could, you, there's, there's a lot of options. And yet, how is it that you know what the aligned option is without trying to figure it out? Well, channeling is, is, uh, inscribing it's really based on a vibrational recognition and utilizing your higher dimensional capacities as a multi-dimensional leader meaning that you have intuition meaning that there are also the the non-verbal communication that's informing things so that you can also make decisions quickly and and know that those decisions are aligned based on uh, a larger perspective that you may or may not be fully aware of consciously. And so in addition to making fast decisions and creating aligned programs uh, or books that we really uh, assist our clients with in the Ascended Master Academy, it also can support you if you happen to be a practitioner that's seeing clients in your delivery. So if we just look at the aspects of business, because I'm highly woo and then also very uh, entrepreneurial at the same time, when we look at the facets of business, there is this, the delivery where you're delivering your message, your you or your team is delivering your service. Uh, and, and then there's also the, the launching or marketing where you're growing awareness and getting the word out about what it is that you're doing and bringing clients in 
offering the service and then it kind of repeats itself it's one of those fractal things that that repeats itself and to whether it's on the the marketing side of things or it's on the the client service delivery side of things the the channeling can be so beneficial because it's really dialed in all the way and it's how for me partnering with the with source and the guides i've received downloads for six seven figure programs that they're they're spot on that the content is aligned that there's really more results as well and i also feel like it's kind of the secret sauce behind of course what we do at divine transmissions and i'm seeing it pop up so much more in in other fields as well like hardcore business coaches that have been like secretly reading the Akashic records behind the door are, are now coming out and, and channeling. And I, I'm so excited about that. So whether if you're, you're entering into this from the more uh, 3D based practical coaching and you have a very strong intellectual uh, way because we also work a lot with those that like really smart, really smart beings that are doctors and lawyers and uh, psychiatrists and and you you have a beautiful intellect. So I'm not saying to not use strategy or have strategic thinking as a part of things. And yet at the same time, that overthinking things can just dilute. The message and that's also where you may end up kind of further along a track and then go oh wait a minute if i would have been more dialed in at the beginning then you can see how things would go a lot more smoothly so creating aligned content in a way that's almost in real time or this dropping and delivering there's also a recognition that, and this is what I was starting to say, is that when something is scribed or when something is channeled, and I know that I say this over and over in different ways because it's a core part of what we do in our message, that there's a, there's a, a multidimensional aspect to the communication where the book or the podcast or the email or the the client session is speaking on many dimensions and from many dimensions so that partnering with source and what i feel like again is one of the biggest benefits that i've experienced personally and also my business and I see with our clients through partnering with source and channeling with the guides is that there there's this being met being divinely matched on multiple levels at once because yes you are mind you are emotions you are body however you're also a divine being. You also have your higher self. There's your intuition. There's your, your gifts and your talents. There's so many facets and dimensions that make up you as a very unique conglomerate of experiences, lifetimes, gifts, talents. And so there's also this sense of really an experience of as a practitioner who, who channels, as a leader who channels, there's on the receiving end of it, there's a sense of, of wow, of really feeling seen, loved, heard, and being called forth in an even greater 
way, like the invitation to be more of you is implicit in that, that relationship. And that's also a benefit of partnering with source and with guides is from my experience, there's this constant invitation to be your full self. And one of the aspects that I see in the new paradigm and leading the new paradigm and also assisting individuals to really birth their unique bodies of work and modalities and books and, and leadership global movements is that something's different is being asked for to, to really make the biggest difference. Something different is, is being asked for. And there are plenty of places and spaces where you can process your slower vibrations and it's a part of our spiritual evolutionary path. The, as we move and increase vibration, the slower vibrations are going to come up to the surface. And so it's important to have that. Yet how many places are you, and spaces are you really divinely matched in your brilliance where you're really like vibrationally and energetically being held to bring forth the best of you, to, to live from that place of your totality. And, you know, I don't know how many years now I've been channeling. It's been, it's been quite a while in this lifetime. And I was kind of tuning into all the benefits of channeling as I was, uh, energetically preparing for this podcast around creating aligned content on demand without overthinking things. So I wasn't overthinking things yet. I was tuning in and I was really honing in on, on what's the most important aspects of this message that all the channeling that I have been engaged in or the scribing has really prepared me to to also embody my divine self. It's, it's had this side benefit where as I've been connecting and have this primary partnership with, with Toth, Thoth, Thoth, Jehudi, Tehudi, the keeper of the Akashic records, the healer's healer, the teacher's teacher, uh, scribe, architect, and God of infinite knowledge, as I've been forging and developing and deepening into this, this primary partnership as an access point as well to my direct connection with source, being the channel, being the vessel in a very individualized oneness, because I'm a conscious channel. It's not that I, I don't remember everything yet. Uh, I'm a part of the council. So my wisdom is a part of the council there, that process of consistently connecting with higher wisdom and frequencies and beings of light and the channel being the vessel and the vessel needs to be strong individualized oneness. And it's also what the council of light and the guides always teach is that it's not about like you disappear. That's one of the myths of channeling that you're taken over by a guide or something is like, that's not the way that it works in, in my world and what it is that we're up to in divine transmissions. It's very much a, a choice. It's based on equality and equanimity. It's based on uh, really that, that partnership. And it takes a strong identity, frequency, physical body to, to be interacting with those higher frequencies in a way that it doesn't, um, it, that it doesn't get distorted. Let's just say, let's just say it that way. And, and so as I've, as I'm a full body channel as well, that as I've embodied Toth, for example, then that's also prepared my system to embody my higher self. 
to embody my own presence, to embody my light being in love, being self, which of course is what we're up to in our divine light activation is embodying your light being self, Magdalene codes of love, embodying your love being self. And then in the Ascended Mastery Academy, really embodying your Ascended Master Self and creating uh, by partnering with Source that aligned content, whether it's a book or a program that's a part of being a contribution on the planet in an even bigger way. So that's one of the, the unexpected benefits of, of channeling that I've experienced. So it feels like to have an episode about channeling and to not scribe the guides uh, would, would be, I'd be remiss. So let's just take a moment to bring them in and see what they have to say about channeling, creating aligned content on demand without overthinking things. Hello, dear ones. This is Tov, the Magdalene's, and many beings of light and love moving more to the forefront of this divine transmission. As we are stepping forward, we would explore two aspects of what's been brought forward more deeply. One is divinely matching, being divinely matched and divine matching. And so let's start with that, that in order to be divinely matched and to divinely match someone on what we call the altar of the visionary heart, the first divine light activation, on the altar of equality, vibrationally, there is more bandwidths of consciousness that are being transmitted from and transmitted to. And at Divine Transmissions, we're really forging in the new paradigm, the recognition of practical energetics that, that you've heard of mindset, for example, and mindset is is an important aspect of things. And yet what we specialize is really the energetics, the energetics behind being a spiritual leader, the energetics behind having a meaningful life and a prosperous life, whether that's your six or seven figure business or whatever is aligned for you, the energetics of communication. And when you're scribing, divinely transmitting, channeling, and you have a unique way of doing it, it doesn't have to look like how it looks for Danielle. And that's also what we're a stand for is assisting others and really identifying what is your unique way. You're tapped into the energetics of communication. And then magic happens from that. There's an energetic sense of being matched that whomever it is that you're in communication with really feels and senses and, and, and knows. And so the first thing we wanted to go more deeply into is the energetics of being divinely matched. And then the second thing that we wanted to go into in terms of creating aligned content is that when you're creating aligned content and, and it comes in, you're, you're downloading your program, 
your your scribing your book your creating your podcast or or whatever it is it comes in in a state of wholeness it comes in like 80 percent of the way there without endless iterations without uh, exhausting scripts or trying to memorize things and there's this real organic nature to things because communication and language like you are or organic dynamic ever changing ever evolving and so when you're divinely matched through your partnering with source or guides or your higher self and you're divinely matching others and you're tapped into the energetics of the multi-dimensionality of communication then there there's so much that's included in whatever is being expressed that it's not only the words on the page or if you're an artist, the, the colors on the canvas, or if you do web design on the, on the website, there's so much more to it, so much more to it. And so as we're completing here, we would invite you to really just spend a few moments contemplating what are you integrating from this podcast what has sparked an idea for you or what has helped you the most from it as always we are extending our appreciation and acknowledgement to your contribution to the evolution in consciousness all is light and love and we are Oh.